Paul Zimmer from the Dance Demos channel here again, and today I want to talk about converting dances you have loaded in the queuing software as a separate music and voice files into a combined split channel MP3 file using Audacity. This is actually quite a common request, and the solution lies in a little known feature of Audacity. Audacity is capable of recording anything that you send to the speakers directly into Audacity in stereo. So I've got Audacity open. I'm going to go to Audio Settings. You can change these things one at a time, but I'm going to go to the last pick so I can see them all at once. The very first setting I'm going to put at Wasapi. So normally when you record cues, you go to MIME, but I'm going to use Wasapi. Playback device doesn't really matter. The recording device does. So I'm going to choose Speakers Loopback. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm in stereo because I want to get both channels recorded. Now we can close that out. And now I just go here, hit the record button, and then I start the music in the queuing software, and it just starts to record. Sway left and right, whirlwind three, checking, roll back three, face line wall, three step. It's much too continuous over. Like magic, huh? Now, I usually do a, a trial run, and I'll get these, these levels set so that I get nothing but green on the music channel and mostly green, maybe a little yellow and red on the queuing channel. You can play with it and see how you like. Anyway, so once I get it here, see, it's already in stereo. Um, I can fiddle with the balance or whatever I want to do. That's actually in another video where I talk about I switch windows into monaural mode and listen to it and balance them out. Anyway, and then the usual thing, I do file export as mp3. So there you have it. Uh, that's that's how you easily convert your separate music and voice files into a single split channel mp3 file. Thanks for listening.